How's it going on YouTube? Adrian back for you for another video. So, just starting the sheeting here. I'm about to take a break, but I thought I'd shoot a quick video and uh, show you how I build the roof stand. Now, I don't see an example around here. Okay, maybe that one in the far distance over there. I don't know who built that. But I've seen them way sketchier than that. Like I'm talking like two two by fours, one on each end, and that's it. Not even a, a kicker board in case they uh, fall out. Anyway, guys, this is, uh, if something's gonna happen, chances are it's gonna happen right here. Um, obviously when you're sheeting, I'm putting a bad example out there right now, but you should be tied off. I'm just about to take lunch, so I just wanted to get my camera my phone's all right and illustrate you how i go about this so i always put a kicker board right through something about at least 10 12 feet and i'll show you why in a second and you nail it you position it obviously as high as you can but high enough that you know your the machine can reach it so i nail nail one and i measure off the sheet so it's equal measurements and then I just make sure you hit the uh, hit the jacks, the trusses, and uh, or else it's really not doing anything at that point. So once I have that 12, say 14 footer nail down, I times whatever the pitch is by four. So this is 612, so 24 inch pieces, just straight two by fours, no bevels, nothing fancy like that. And then I cut uh, two by fours, five feet to go on top. And then I run the five footer about 12 inches past and I it in and then I nail it down, obviously making sure you hit the trusses each time. Very important. So after that's in, I, I put a sheet flush with the outside, like flush where the sheets meet the roof and uh, nail that on. You don't have to go crazy with the staples. Just like four or five staples each row, just so it's nice and stiff. And then, see, because I cut it five feet, I can run, I can keep the sheets back here, and that gives me something to walk on. So, uh, just kind of nice, straight ledge right here that I can uh, measure off the sheets from. So I'm not always, my feet aren't always on an angle. I get a little break in between. Then I put a little two by four, two by six, doesn't matter. At least two feet in between. And that's just so I can put my staples, my clips, uh, a radio if I have it up here, my nailer. And then on the other side, I put another piece, about four or five feet. And that's just so when I have scraps, I, can, I don't have to toss them down. And I can use them for later on. I can just keep them here and out of the way and uh, kind of organize that way. Another thing, I just boomed up these sheets, but it's important. Just throw a spike in somewhere in the center. Just tack it in, three quarters in. And that's basically so that when you're lifting, the wind doesn't catch it or the, the sheets don't go forward. So, I haven't touch these sheets they're nice and perfectly straight in line didn't have to uh, handball them off thankfully anyway I'm gonna take a break right now and then I'm gonna get on sheeting this roof here's an A12 and then uh, yeah by day's end I should be off this roof but guys just thought I'd show you that Take the time, take the extra two by fours, make yourself a respectable roof stand so that at the end of the day, you go home at night. Because uh, unless you're a silver surfer, I can't see that being a pleasant drop. Anyway, guys, take care, have a good one, and bye for now.